Oh, dear, it's time for exclamations and shooting people, and I'm all out of shooting people. Uh, hey, guys, name's Fen playing some Nolf. Look at this guy. He's hilarious. <laughs> I sure am disturbed by the idea of blasting bodies. Oh, hey, you exist. How's it going? And you exist. Unfortunately, your book is of like zero interest to like anybody, but I guess I should go in there and try to read it. Sigh. What have we here? Just like a little alarm button on the wall for some reason. Sounds amazing. How in the hell did I not get caught by that camera? Probably because I'm super awesome. Tastes like incredibly 8,000 year old spirit. Cool sequel to The Son of Kong. That's what it's the sequel to, The Son of... May I help you? I thought your book was glowing there, lady. Your, your book is glowing there, lady. Come on! It... Oh, I'm supposed to take a pic... <laughs> Probably. Oh, man, how do I even do this? How do I even do this? No, that doesn't do it. That doesn't work. Okay. Excuse me, I'm just gonna photograph this evidence, like, don't mind me. <laughs> oh, alrighty. Anyways. That was, like, way not as hard as I thought it was. Incroyable. Uh, how did I... Oh. That's pretty effective camera there. Boom, bye out, boom, bye down. And so forth. Yeah, th this is amazingly super fun. I guess. Oh. Uh, yeah, well, so much for that. I guess I'll... Well, I guess... Where's my, where's my proper gun? There we go. I guess I'll just shoot the game like some sort of shooter. Because I'm well known... Oh, I shot an innocent. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Whoops. Because I'm well known for, like, not ever reloading. So, you know, when it's a Fen video, that, uh, if I reload, it's not me. It's a fake. Fortunately, I don't think it's very likely that I've been being faked for the last six or seven or eight years. <laughs> it's just not a, not a very likely thing. <laughs> it's just such a stupidest thing to say that I've ever said. Come on. Oh, hey, man, it's these ultra-modern computers. Well, that's all I've got to say about those. So, uh, like, this is an actual button. It's not, like, an actual button. You know what I mean? It doesn't turn the alarm off is what I'm trying to tell you. But look, if this stuff doesn't glow, it's not important. Any spy worth even half a grain of salt will tell you that. New goat pens. <laughs> well, that's, that's a thing you can put on a piece of paper, isn't it, now? Hey, you, are you an alarm? Oh, hey, it's bioflavonoids again. No, you're not an alarm. You're just like, hey, buddy, you can't do nothing. I think I'm... Don't try to get away from me. I will track you down like a dog. I ain't getting away from nobody, you freaking wall see through -er. What the hell are you using? 360 infrared scope? I think that's how the meme goes, isn't it? But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely missing the locker room. So I should probably put my gun away because God... Oh, let's open the... Can't open the lockers? What is this? Something other than thief? Come on! CCCP soda. Yeah. Revenge of the Soviet Union. Oh, beverage of the... Not rev... Okay. <laughs> Never mind this then. This was the most useful sojourn since Bob Dylan became a heavy metal artist. It's not very well talked about in his career, but you know, it did happen. You can trust me. I'm a vet, you know. Another thing you can say is that purple is truly deserving of the royal button treatment. Yeah, karate chop that button, gal pal. What have you done to the version 4 animals? The explosion ratio is significantly smaller than the version 3 animals. Please investigate immediately. I don't know what accent I was trying to do there. I forgot. Oh, what is this place? It's, it's, what is it? Is it, is it, is it Dutch land? Is it Denmark? Is it Dittish Columbia? D Ditsish Columbia? Yeah, that's right. What an insult. Ditsy Columbia. 
Oh, wait a minute. I don't have a code. Hang on here. Did I kill Dr. Shink? <laughs> Die. What? Oh. That, that happened. Uh, I don't know what to say to such a shocking event. Truly, it will break the foundations of the world. Even worse than... Uh, 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 when Bruce Dickinson started singing some sort of ballads about Judas Priest instead of opening for them. Uh, it was a bad time indeed for every skunk. Whoa, we'll go down there. That's probably the locker room, I'm just guessing right now. With no one. What? It doesn't even blow up. That means no smoking, I'm just gonna guess right now. Who the hell is that? It's you. Oh yeah, and also, health happens. And miraculously, I haven't lost very much. I don't know what the hell happened there, for sure. Unidentifiable animal part. Hello, yes, I'm not gonna shoot you though. You just keep cowering. I like watching you cower. I like cows, and so cowering is like adding an er to the end of cow, making the word cow even longer. And long cows are amazing cows. The longer they are, the better meat they. I just think I'll stop right there. Oh no, it's the drinklet station for Easty Hilfi. Uh. Unfortunately, no Easty Hilfies around there. Too bad. I won't run around the floor on my hands and knees acting like an animal. Now, here's my scandal. None whatsoever. Ah, oh, well, yes, you see, it looks like even with the alarm going... <laughs> it's funny, because, you know, somebody's like, Hey, you're not supposed to trip the alarm. And another was like, Yeah, you totally are. You know, it was like, No, you totally aren't. Also, I'm going around in circles. It's amazing. Or am I? Oh, damn it. Well, that was fascinating. Because you see, the vital part about improvising is not to say something funny. It's to say something that makes what you just said funny when it blatantly wasn't. So, if you're saying, well, I sure do like alarms, I sure do like gunfire, I sure do like music, well, don't just fade it off. Instead, say, well, <laughs> if you like gunfire and music and whatever else I just said, then you may possibly also be eligible to like this diamond ring of a bright blue color, which I'm about to stuff into your eyeball. So then when you die, you won't die. You will die mund. Uh, did I say that was going to be funny? I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going completely the wrong way here once again, because it's also something I'm known for. Well, there's an elevator over there, but... I'm pretty sure that I shouldn't go in there because you see there's a Hochen room over here, so you know I'm I'm very respectful towards others' languages. And there's like a weird gutti gluck gluck alarm clock on there. Gutti gluck gluck. Pretty sure that's what it says. Maybe it says goose. I don't know. Hey, in Canada we have lots of geese. They go like huh, and it's amazing. I mean you didn't know that that's what geese sound like, right? But oh. I'm supposed to locate Dr. Something or other here. Yeah, that ain't happening. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh yes. work to do. Oh, you do, do you? Jobs, jobs. We gotta create jobs, even ones that have no reason to exist because our whole society is based on jobs and jobs, not actually like doing good stuff or, you know, having anything good be. It's just like jobs. And they're like, the machines are taking our jobs. Yeah, well, good. And they'll have our jobs. I, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm gonna say that's good to be controversial, because I heard that when you're controversial, oh, are you Dr. Watch's face? Th then you, you get paid a few pennies, so it's pretty cool. You must be Dr. Schenker. Who are you? We'll have time for introductions later. Our first priority is to get out of here. They sent a woman to liberate me? My God in Himmel. You can lodge a formal complaint the minute we set foot on Western soil. In the meantime, can we go? This was not part of the arrangement. She is here! Excuse me for a moment, Doctor. <laughs> Satisfied. As I was saying, perhaps we should go. It seems I have no choice. One moment, people, my 
fire. All right, all right, all right. I guess we're still playing up the oh, oh, women are so hated that this guy wouldn't be rescued by one if his life depended on it. Lol. Oh, all righty. Oh, wrong button again. Oh. Escape. Well, it seems I randomly know what to do to do that as I was just kind of there. But watch me forget now. Watch me now. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm reloading in a firefight. That's what I do. Yeah. That's that's something I am known for. So, you know, I just didn't I didn't know who was going to show up. You know, I, I guess I'll get my good super force amazing gun going over here. Can I tell you to like shut the hell up and stop following me and getting killed? How rude! Yes. Yeah. Well, that's that's just what you have to deal with. You, you, get over here, mate, sir. Oh, don't. Wow, yeah, I'm not doing so well in the health department here, am I? Oh, boy. Oh, no. Fortunately, we're almost there, I think. Dang it. I think we are, though. So... Damn it, what gun can I use that is, like, better? Probably nothing. They're just called names. I don't even... Oh, wait. I could use this one. I never used at all before, ever. <laughs> yeah. And that's all of them. Thank you. Have a good day. But, you know, hey, at least we had some fun, didn't we? Yeah. Actually using cover? This is the real me. You want to meet him now? Because I'm so obsessed about always having full ammo, I reload in battle all the damn time. It's one of my charming, attractive traits. Hey. Guy, the door's over here. Good look. Oh. I'm not even close to foot. What? I, I get it. I get it. I understand what's supposed to be going on here. Hey, you. You're losing. Hey, you. You're gonna be losing if you keep up that behavior. Hey, you. Get the hell over. Oh, good. You're programmed to actually stand up once in a while. Fine. Well, it, I guess it was good that he did that, you know. Kept him out of danger, so that was good. Boy, I sure do love politics. I sure do love gunfire. I sure do love music. I sure do love fluffy bunnies. Sure do love jumping off a balcony or being picked up by a helicopter or something. That's what you do. You dance in your room and nothing else. How did we get out? Oh, there's a widescreen. Proud moment there. Good girl. <laughs> Ah, uh, well, that's that, so, uh, I, I guess I'll During try to save. During the flight to London, attempt to learn as much as possible from Dr. Schenker about his research. Schenker is a notoriously cautious man, so direct questions are not advised. He is also reported to have little tolerance for skeptics. Try to keep an open mind. Oh, I've got an open mind, mate. Ho, 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 ho. I call it the I mind, because it's... So open, GL. Shrug. <laughs> Can I save now or what? Like, I don't want to lose all that stuff, but sure. Go with the default. I'm not even going to screw with it this time. This is your captain speaking. We have reached a cruising altitude of 24,000 feet and will soon be leaving German airspace. I've turned off the seatbelt and no smoking sign. Feel free to move about the cabin. We'll be arriving in London at approximately 6.15 p.m. local time. The temperature is currently 25 degrees centigrade with clear skies. I think we can expect a lovely, relaxing flight. Excuse me, but can I save, please? Well, no. All right. What about your wife? Will she be joining you in England? Say as taught. Or Sayara. Pardon me, I must get used to speaking English. My wife died two years ago. 
My condolences, Doctor. I wasn't aware. There's no mention of her demise in our files. It was not made public. There was an accident at the laboratory during an experiment. She was killed. You are familiar with my line of research? No, but it must be fascinating. Quite so. I am... I was the head of the biological explosives research team. Biological explosives? Sounds rather outlandish, frankly. No, don't say that. Perhaps, but also very real and very dangerous. Imagine an undetectable chemical reagent which can be injected into a living host. The reagent causes a reaction in the organism that culminates in a massive explosion that feeds on organic material. In other words, the effective range of the weapon is dictated by the amount of catalyst in the reagent and the population density at ground zero. In a city, the death toll could be tens of thousands. The speed of the reaction can be controlled with great accuracy by the chemical composition of the reagent. Human time bombs. Quite so. Necrotic mutox. How is such a thing possible? Ah, uh, I spent many years trying to answer that very question. Perhaps you'd care to read an article I've been preparing on the subject. It's rather fundamental, but it will give you a foundation for understanding the larger issues. I'm deeply honored. Don't mention it. I feel it is my duty to reward open-mindedness and imagination whenever the opportunity arises. You would make a fine pupil. By the way, I never thanked you. I'm sorry I doubted your competence. Apology accepted. Uh, we are in position. You know what to do, Sonny. Yes, sir. Initiating docking procedure and jamming our communications. Get up, laddies! We're going aboard! <laughs> That's right. I'm not sure. Stay here while I investigate. Keep this door locked. Okay, I'll see you guys next time. And bye for now.